In this example, I need to find all solutions of the equation the secant of theta equals 1.0801 in the interval 0 to 2 pi. I also need to round the answers to four decimal places. As we're given the interval 0 to 2 pi, this tells me my answers have to be in radians. And as the value of the secant of theta is not a value on the unit circle, that tells me I'm going to need to use a calculator. But remember, there is no secant key on the calculator, so I'm going to have to rewrite the secant function in terms of its reciprocal function, which is the cosine function. So the cosine of theta is 1 divided by the secant of theta, which is 1 divided by this value up here, which is 1.0801. Now in order to get theta by itself, theta is just going to be the inverse cosine or the arc cosine function of this expression 1 divided by 1.0801. Now remember the secant of theta equals 1.0801 is an equation with an infinite number of solutions. I only need those in the interval 0 to 2 pi. But this equation here by definition only has one solution and it has to be somewhere between 0 and pi, either in quadrant 1 or quadrant 2. So now I need to put this in my calculator, but before I do that, I need to check the mode. It is in degrees, so I need to scroll down until radians is flashing, hit enter. Now the calculator is in radians, I need to quit, so that second mode. Now I can type this in. Inverse cosine function or arc cosine function is in blue above the cosine key. So it's second cosine. Notice it open parentheses for me. Now I just type this in. 1 divided by 1.0801 close parentheses and hit enter. And this is my answer here. I need to round it to four decimal places, one, two, three, four, that's the position of the five. The four is not going to round that up, so I know theta equals 0 0.3875. So this is one solution for this linear trig equation. Now which quadrant is this angle in? Remember, it's in radians. Here's zero radians, here's pi over 2, which is approximately 1.57. So my angle is here in quadrant 1. So I know this is a quadrant 1 angle. So here is my angle theta. And are there any other quadrants in which the secant of theta could equal this number? Well, remember, the secant of theta is r over x, and since r is always positive, then the secant of theta is going to be a positive number when x is positive. Well, x is positive here in quadrant 1, but it's also positive here in quadrant 4. Now I've already found my solution in quadrant 1. To find the solution in quadrant 4, it helps to draw a picture, so I need an angle that terminates in quadrant 4. The second solution I'm going to call theta sub 2. Here's theta sub 2. And to find this angle, I'm going to need to use reference angles. Remember, reference angles are the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So for this angle, this is my reference angle that I'm going to call theta prime. And it has to equal the reference angle for the first solution I found. 
Well, for angles in quadrant one, to find the reference angle is very easy. They are equal to their reference angles. These two reference angles are equal, so I know my reference angle equals 0 0.3875. Now, to find my second solution, theta sub 2, Looking at the picture, I know theta sub 2 plus my reference angle has to add up to one revolution of 2 pi. So theta sub 2 is one revolution of 2 pi minus my reference angle of 0 0.3875. So working on my calculator, I have 2 times pi minus the angle I've already found that is stored as second answer, hit enter, and here's my second solution. One, two, three, four decimal places. The four is not going to affect that six. So theta sub two is 5.8956 radians. Now remember, this angle was meant to be in quadrant 4. Is it in quadrant 4? Well, 3 pi over 2 is roughly 4.7 radians, and 2 pi is roughly 6.28 radians. Does this number lie in between these two? Yes, so I know my angle is in quadrant 4. But a better way to check this answer is to find the secant of this angle. So remember, there's no secant button, so I'm going to have to find 1 divided by the cosine of this angle, 5.8956. Close parentheses. Is this roughly the number I started with? Yes, they're going to be slightly different because I rounded this answer here. But this is a great indication that you've got this problem correct.